need, I need water, please. I need water. Yeah, you know, please. Um, let our, um, let our people go back here. Hi, good evening. This is official. Um, <clears throat> um, how you, uh, you know, how you guys doing today? Um, I just landed in Tokyo. Um, Tokyo is an amazing place. I've been here. I've been here numerous times before. Um, and it's all about entertainment. Uh, come December 31st, I want to go out there and have fun, entertain, and. Um, you know, um, I'm here for the fans. I'm here for the people. I love the culture. Uh, me and my team, you know, enjoy coming to Tokyo. And um, you people have been amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys got questions. And um, I'm here to answer all questions. Um, I would like to thank. I would like to thank uh, One Entertainment. I would. I would like. I would like to thank Brent Johnson and his company, One Entertainment. You know, for making this happen. But I also want to, you know, take my hat off um, to one other person that also made this happen, uh, James McNair, a very, very close friend of mine. Uh, he also had a lot, a lot to do with this. Him and Brent Johnson working together, uh, as a, you know, um, they're both our team players. Um, we made it happen. Um, Rising, um, you guys are doing an amazing job with the fighters. Um, keep up the great work and Mayweather Promotions, which is uh, my company. We are the past, the present, and the future of sports and entertainment. So, uh, welcome to Tokyo. Thank you for coming to press conference. Uh, sorry, actually, I still cannot believe you're here. So, <laughs> sorry. Uh, you just said you've just arrived in Japan. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, how is your condition uh, going into the match uh, two days from now? I don't. I don't worry about anything. Um, I don't really have to. I don't have to train for three rounds. Um, not worried about anything. Uh, as far as um, in the sport of co in contact sports, I've seen everything. You know, throughout uh, my career, um, I actually had my first fight in 1987. So um, I'm just here to have fun. Uh, what kind of a match would you like it to be in two days? Oh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to do what he he normally does, and I'm going to go out there and just uh, be Floyd Mayweather. Uh, um, your opponent, Tension, has mentioned uh, a few moments ago that uh, he'd like to try to hit you once or twice uh, as much as possible. Uh, what do you think uh, about that? <laughs> well, um, well uh, my thing is... Um, Youth, youth is on his side. He's very young. He's very active, um, very tough. I had a chance to, you know, I had a chance to see some highlights. I never had a chance to go, you know, and pull him up, you know, as far as on the computer. But I had a chance to see some highlights, and um, I was impressed with, you know, with tension. Mm -hmm. I was very impressed with him. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure uh, he don't have to worry about anything. Um, you know, just. Whether it's sparring, or an exhibition, or a real fight, um, when you dish it out, you have to be able to take it. So I'm pretty sure he's, you know, he's going to dish it out, but he also have to be able to take it. So, but you know, uh, even though it's just, you know, three rounds, uh, I think we should get the people uh, action. Hey, hi, Floyd. Uh, hey, welcome hey. back to Japan. Oh, thank uh, you. How do you feel that experience to, to fight in an event like Rising? You know, Rising uh, have a big uh, venue, a big arena. You fought uh, probably uh, 37K people in there. What, what's your emotions about that, that experience? Uh, just another day. It's just another day like, like when I wake up, you know, take a shower and put my clothes on. It's just another day. Um, um, just fighting is something that I've been doing, you know, for over 30, over 30 years. So it's just another day. Uh, I can't, I, I don't ever worry about, uh, I, I worry about entertaining the fans, but once again, uh, once the bell ring, uh, it's always, you know, uh, uh, entertainment for me. It's always about having fun, going out there and um, doing what I do best. 
sorry, uh, we interviewed Tenshin a couple of hours before, yes. and I personally ask uh, about if he get a win, uh, if uh, you have have chance to to face you again. We know you are retired, uh, you 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 step away from boxing, but. If something wrong, uh, something different happened, like a knockout of him, did you stay interested to give it uh, a shot to him to make another fight? Oh, I don't really worry fight? about that. Um, you know, throughout my years of boxing, you know, as far as an amateur as well as a professional, um, I've never uh, touched a canvas once. Um, and I've been hit by some of the biggest punches uh, in the sport of boxing. I mean, if you look at... Uh, my record, you look at my career, um, Manny Pacquiao, he was a huge puncher, Miguel Cotto, uh, Marquez, um, and the list goes you know, on and on about so many different fighters that I faced that was big punchers. I don't really worry about that. Um, I mean, he's taking this fight, I'm pretty sure he's taking the fight extremely serious. I know, I know he's probably working hard in the gym. Just another day, I don't, I don't have to work hard in the gym for three rounds. I can basically do three rounds in my sleep, so I don't worry about that. Um, so we'll just see, you know, what he brings to the table. But as far as me me getting knocked out or me getting knocked down, I don't worry about it, you know, at all. If, if I mean, I think that if that does happen, I mean, it's entertainment. That's what we need to see. Hi, Floyd. Welcome to Japan. Good, how are you? As boxing continu continues to spread throughout the world and the popularity of boxing spreads, uh, will we continue to see people of color, African Americans, uh, dominate this sport, or will we see a rise in the variety of uh, ethnicity, of new champions? Um, you know, I'm not here to talk about um, racism. I'm not here to talk about color. Um, I'm here to have fun and entertain. I'm just happy that I'm able to come uh, to a, another part of the world, um, you know, that I love coming to just to entertain. Uh, uh, as far as anything else, I can't, I'm not here to speak about color. I'm not here to sp speak about racism. I'm just here to say that I love and I like everyone. And um, in the sport of boxing, I want the sport of boxing to live on worldwide. Uh, as long as I'm here, I'm going to keep pushing just contact sports, period. And so how about the Japanese fans? How has your reception been? Um, just period. You know, throughout Asia, um, I had a chance, you know, myself to travel the world. And, you know, the love that I've received, you know, uh, in Japan as well as uh, Hong Kong, you know, China, Macau, the Philippines, you know, me just traveling the world. Um, the fans are amazing, you know, and just the impact that I have on fighters, uh, you know, just not just boxers, just fighters, just period that's in combat sports has been truly amazing. And I'm very, very, you know, uh, uh, grateful. And um, my team is very, uh, is, is very pleased with the performance. I mean, very pleased with the outcome um, that we received from the fans, you know, throughout life. Have you uh, trained anything with uh, rising gloves? You're fighting with uh, four ounce gloves, yeah? Um, I'm not really sure. I haven't had a chance to, um, um, you know, I know the gloves that I normally fight in, you know, the, the gloves that, you know, that I normally fight in is Grant gloves. So um, I didn't know nothing about, you know, the rising gloves, but it's whatever. I mean, um, I communicate with, uh, my team, I talk with Brent Johnson from One Entertainment and speak with my team and see what we come up with. But I'm pretty sure uh, both both sides will be happy. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's eight ounce or four ounce. It doesn't matter if, if it's if it's uh, six ounce. That's even better. I think you said. I mean, I said four ounce. I apologize. I mean, six ounce or eight ounce. It doesn't matter. I mean, if my hands can go in a six ounce glove, then so be it. Let's make it happen. Uh, earlier, uh, Tension mentioned that he would really like to give you a leg kick. Is there something in the contract to make sure that he doesn't? And if he does, is there some kind of uh, penalty for that? Well, I'm gonna let you know. I'll let you know. Well, you know. Let me see. Um, hold on one second. Well, I'm gonna let Brent Johnson kind of touch on uh, that. 
you know, because, I, you know, a lot of times I don't like to speak on certain things and be out of place. So I want to let Brent Johnson kind of speak on that. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. So Brent Johnson, I went one entertainment. I'll let you, I'll let him speak on uh, what you just asked me. So what was the completion of your, your complete question? Yeah, online I saw that. Um, there is a penalty clause in the contract of undisclosed amount if he is to use any moves which are of MMA of nature, and uh, we'd like you know make sure that he does not because this is a standing fight um, in the boxing standard based on the rules of Las Vegas, Nevada. We have got an excellent referee um, by the name of Kenny Bayless, who I'm sure you know is going to be refereeing the match. Um, and it'll be, it'll have a great exhibition and we'll enjoy it. And I think it'll be great entertainment for everyone. Um, I want to say thank you to Tokyo. I want to say thank you to Ryzen. Uh, I want to say thank you to One Entertainment, Brent Johnson. I want to thank uh, James McNair, uh, Mayweather Promotions, and my team for all coming together, um, making this happen. Uh, I look forward to going out there in a couple of days uh, to entertain and have fun. Uh, you guys have been truly amazing. Uh, I appreciate the turnout. And uh, we look forward to coming back. Thank you. Are you going to try to knock him out? Um, I'm just here to entertain. Uh, if that happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. はい、以上です。ありがとうございました。